Do you want to learn more about songwriting? Yeah! How about creating and editing videos from your phone? Yeah! Okay, well, what about AWS security best practices for developers? What? Welcome, and thank you for tuning in. I'm Brian from the County Library's South Main Clinic Reading Room, and today I'm going to give you a brief overview of lynda.com. Lynda.com is an online learning resource that offers video-based classes and everything from songwriting, video editing, website design, starting your own business, and 3D animation. Let's get started. So the easiest way to access lynda.com is to go to the County Library's homepage, which is slcolibrary.org. At the top, there's a handful of navigation links. The one we're interested in is the research room. So go ahead and just click on that. And then that's going to take you to this page. There's a number of different ways that you can access lynda.com. The one that we're going to use is to just go to the how to link that's on the left hand side navigation bar. I'm going to click on that. That's going to drop another uh, set of links. And we're just going to click on how to. From there, you're going to see from lynda.com listed the fourth from the top. We're going to go ahead and just click on lynda.com and that's going to open up a new uh, window for us. And then what you're going to need to do at this point is put in your library card and your PIN number. Now, if you don't have a library card yet, stay tuned at the end of this video and I'm going to give you a quick run through on signing up for a library card online. Once you've put your library and PIN number, that will take you to the lynda.com homepage. Once you're here, there are a number of different ways to search classes in lynda.com. At the top is a search box. Below that is a list of some of the more popular classes offered by lynda.com. And then below that is a list of topics that range from business, design, marketing, photography, video, audio, music. So let's say that you're interested in topics related to business. So you're going to click on that link, and then that's going to bring up all the classes in lynda.com related to uh, business. So you're going to scroll down, um, find the class that you want. Uh, in this case, we'll click on time management, working from home. And all the classes are uh, instructed via videos. On the left-hand side, you're going to see a list of the different videos in that class the length of those individual videos. And you don't have to complete a class in one sitting. So lynda.com, let's say you stop at a particular video, log out. When you log back in, lynda.com will have your place saved and you can resume uh, watching the videos from uh, where you left off do previously. Do you have a Salt Lake so County Library card yet? There is a quick and easy way to do that online. So the first thing you want to do is go to the library's homepage. From there, on the right hand side, you're going to click on the My Account link. That's going to take you to this page. Now, since you don't have a library card, we're interested in this top link, which says if you are not registered for library services, click here to register now. So we're going to click on the link, click here to register now. If you are a Salt Lake County resident, there's a Terms and Conditions link under that. And then if you are a non-Salt Lake County resident, you can also apply for a library card, but there is a fee associated with that. Once you've read the uh, services agreements, just click the I agree link. That's going to take you to this page. You're going to select the library that's most convenient to you. You're going to then enter your zip code. Click continue. From there, it's going to ask you to verify which city you live in, given the zip code you added. And then here is the online form that you need to fill out to uh, get your temporary access number. So once you submit the online form, you'll get a temporary number, and that will give you access to all the library's digital resources. Once the libraries are back open and you want to check out items at the library itself, you will need to bring in some uh, proof of your address.